Hi guys, Hunter Holston with Recon Power Bikes, and today I'm going to show you some of the key differences on our Striker all-wheel drive Recon Power Bike. Uh, one of the big ones compared to our Ranger is that it's actually got a front hub style motor. Uh, one of the big key also differences on this, it's actually got a lock washer that you want to make sure is in the downward position when you're installing it on your bottom section of your fork and your dropout section. Making sure that happens when you actually tighten these nuts down will prevent the actual wheel from coming off when you're, or even damaging the bike itself. So we're going to make sure that we have those in the downward position before installation. We'll go ahead and we'll slide this up in here. And I'll tighten the right side first, and then I'll come back over here and I'll explain our nine pin connector that we have for the bike. Making sure that these arrows line up is important because you don't want to snap any pins off. So we're going to make sure our arrows are lined up and give it a little push in there. It's, it, might, it might stick a little bit. So there we go. And you can use a 19 millimeter open ended wrench to kind of tighten those down. Or if you do have a torque wrench, the proper torque value on these is 35 newton meters. So we're going to set ours to 35, and I've gone ahead and already set that up. And we'll just go ahead and we'll torque those down. There we go. Moving on into the derailleur real quick, we have went ahead and installed a SRAM X4 8-speed. And the big key difference on that is you can actually make your fine-tune adjustments up here on the handlebars. Um, the advantage of that is, is now you don't have to go to the rear section of your bike to adjust and then come back and then try and mess around up there. And the big key function also to activate your striker, your all-wheel drive mode, is to actually just go ahead and push that red button there and that will engage the front hub style of the motor. 